Hi, welcome all friends. This is your anatomy guru. As we all know that in all medical and PG entrance exams and also in OSPs held in various medical colleges in India, we get less than a minute to solve a question. So time conservation is very important in these exams. Therefore, in this video, we will discuss how to solve a pedigree chart in less than 30 seconds. Step number one. First, we have to find that the inheritance pattern given in the question is a dominant or recessive. For this, we have to know one simple idea that is, is keeping present or not. Look into these two simple pedigree charts. Is the first generation, second generation, and third generation. In the first, all the three generations are affected in a continuous sequence. So no skipping is seen. This pattern is known as a dominant pattern. In the second one, the first generation is affected, the second generation is not affected, but the third generation is affected. So the second generation shows a skipping pattern. This type of inheritance is called as a recessive pattern. Step number two. Now. We have to differentiate between an autosomal pattern and a sex string inheritance. For this, we have to look into what is known as man-to-man -man transmission or father-to-son transmission. Now look into this particular chart, where females are also affected and males are also affected. In second generation, we can see a father is transmitting its trait to his son. This type of pattern is seen in an autosomal inheritance. Next step is to find out a Y-linked inheritance. For this, the golden rule is only males are affected. For example, look into this pedigree chart. Here, all males are affected. All males are affected. Also, there is no skipping of generation. No skipping of generation. Therefore, this type of inheritance is a Y-linked inheritance. Step number four would be to look out for any mitochondrial inheritance. For this, the golden rule which we will follow is that it is inherited from mother only. For example, look into this pedigree chart. Here, the mother is transmitting the its trait to all its daughter and sons. Also here also, the mother is transmitting its trait to all its daughter and son. But here, the father is not transmitting its traits to its daughter or son. Therefore, it is a maternally inherited inheritance which is known as mitochondrial inheritance. Now, we should look into some practice exercises. In this pedigree chart, we can see every generation is affected. We can see every generation is affected. No skipping is seen. Therefore, it is a dominant pattern. Also, we can see male to male transmission can see a male to male transmission. Therefore, it is also an autosomal disorder. Therefore, to in total, it is an autosomal dominant inheritance. In this example, no skipping is seen. Every generation is affected. So, this is a dominant pattern of inheritance. Next, in this, the father is transmitting its states to all its daughters, to all his daughters, but not to his son, but not to his son. Here also you can see father is transmitting to his daughter, but not to its son. Here also you can see father transmitting to its daughter, but not its son. So, this pattern is always an x wing dominant pattern. So remember, for X-linked dominant, a father is transmitting to its daughter, 
but not to its son, then it is an X wing dominant pattern of inheritance. In this example, we can see that the female is transmitting its trait to all its daughter and son. Here also we can see the female transmitting to all its daughter and son. Here also the female transmitting all its trait to its son. But when the male is affected, he is not transferring any trait to its daughter and son. Therefore, this inheritance is a mitochondrial inheritance. Next, in this pedigree chart, we can see not all generations are affected. Therefore, skipping is seen. So, this is a recessive inheritance. Also, we can see male to male transmission. Therefore, altogether, this is an autosomal recessive inheritance. Look into this example. Here, skipping of generation is seen. Therefore, it is a recessive inheritance. But no male to male transmission is seen. So, it can be an autosomal recessive or an auto X wing recessive inheritance. But here you can also see that males are affected, females are not affected. So, this goes more in favor of X wing recessive inheritance as compared to autosomal recessive inheritance where males and females are equally affected. So, if such question arises in exam, then we can easily differentiate between an axon recessive and autosomal recessive by looking at which category or which gender is more effective. If males are more effective as compared to female, it is an axon recessive disorder. If they are both equally affected, males or females, then it is an autosomal recessive disorder. Also in this pedigree chart, we can see there is skipping of generation. Therefore, it is a recessive inheritance. Here, no male to male transmission is there. No male to male transmission is there. Therefore, it can be an autosomal recessive or an X wing recessive inheritance. But here we can see females are also affected and males are also affected. So, this goes more in favor of autosomal recessive disorder as compared to x wing recessive net. In this pedigree chart, we can see that there is skipping of generation, therefore it is a recessive disorder. Also no male to male transmission is there, therefore it could be not autosomal recessive or x wing recessive, but females and males are both equally affected, therefore it is an autosomal recessive disorder. In this pedigree chart, we can see all generations are affected. Also, male to male transmission is there. Therefore, it is an autosomal dominant disorder. In this also, uh, we can see no skipping. We can't see any skipping. All generations are affected. Therefore, this is a dominant disorder. Also, males are transmitting to its daughter but not to its son. Males are transmitting to its daughter but not to its sons. Therefore, it is an x wing dominant disorder. In this pedigree chart, we can see there is skipping of generation. Therefore, it is a recessive. Uh, no male to male transmission is there. Therefore, it can be an x wing recessive or an autosomal recessive. But here, males are more affected as compared to females. Therefore, it is an x wing recessive disorder. In this last pedigree chart, we can see that all the males are affected, all the males are affected, but we can't see any skipping. All generations are affected. Therefore, it is a violent inheritance. Hi, all friends. This is Dr. Shan, now your anatomy guru. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more of these videos, which would help you to say through the subject of anatomy, join my Facebook page or comment below and suggest some topics which are nightmare for you. Also, if you like this video, please share, like and subscribe this video and share more with your friends. Bye.